Up, oh, see? The water saved me. And there's the diamonds. Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the Mouse Hole Server. I know it's been a long, long time since I actually made a video here on the Mouse Hole Server. But that means I have, that doesn't mean that I have not been working. I've been doing a lot of streaming. And on stream, this we built this. This beautiful creeper farm. We dug out this entire mountain. We made some sugarcane farm and pumpkin and melon farm. And all of that gets sent straight to... See, can I make the hole? Can I make the hole? Yes, I can. Gracefully. It comes down here. To this little hobbit hole, which is our villagers, which I trade for golden carrots, and we build fireworks, oh, fireworks and stuff like that. I need to automate the sugarcane harvest, but I get about two and a half stacks per harvest. I need to make that thing a little bit bigger, and you got pumpkins and melons and string from the farm, and we also get glowing, hmm. as a side note. So, other things that we have built, this is just going to be like a world tour. I did record a bunch of stuff, but the audio did not come through. So, I will probably sprinkle some of that in here and there. This is our, if you remember, we built, dug this hole a long time ago. This is where our four modules for the iron farm are. And, as you can see... Skeletons are falling in. Huh. Interesting. I don't know where they're coming from. But these guys all trade in iron. And they give me all these wonderful pieces of armor and tools. That I can disenchant and then re-enchant with our villagers up top. Alright, down here is our storage room slash bedroom slash whatever. I think we just dug it out. Over the last video it's been so long so this is the bedroom still working on the holders for the lamps i tried this i don't know i haven't made up my mind yet here is the treasure room this is where i keep my record collection my head collection i gotta come over here and deposit these guys' heads I think that's it. Yep. And these are the banners of all the people on the server. There's Scousey. This is Scousey's other banners. This is Thelanius, Nehru's, mine, and Tylee. And I'm going to make a make a brand new banner for Pankua. Also, if you remember, we had the portal was over here in this little nook. But I turned that into a bee sanctuary. Isn't that beautiful? We move the portal over here. As I fly up here, we'll look down at our beautiful powdered snow farm. But that's not why we came up here. We came up here to look at this. This is my old school tree farm. It's just got multiple... Bleh, it's just got multiple layers just like... Like a rice paddy or whatever, you know. Each platform is the size of two chunks. And each one is dedicated to its own species of tree. There used to be a hill right here with a house on it. I've moved that house and hill. Turned it 90 degrees. We are going to be working on this house later on today in stream. So if you guys want to catch up on my streams, it's at twitch.tv slash rabbit 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 mc and here is my portal room before it was just a portal and i've worked on the hallway here all the way back to the shopping district this is the nether hub i did this one day and we did all four biomes of the nether we got crimson warped soul sand boring and basalt delta all right, now, this is 
as you can tell, it goes to my guardian farm. And I'm going to try and play a little bit of footage here. I did make a mathematical error, as you can see right here. Ooh, if I back up the water stream, I counted and I just counted wrong. So I have to move this whole wall back. So let's chug ourselves a potion of invisibility. So my idea of how to fill this whole thing up. Ooh, it's so scary. Will be to see if I do this. Get out of the way, fish. If I do this, it should turn all these to water sources. Ooh, I need to get air. I don't have aquafinity on. I just have foamula all the way up. So it is working. It's just taking a little bit longer than I thought. All right. With that, it looks like the entire bubble column is. Cool. Ooh. All right, guys. As I put this lid over these last couple blocks, you can see the guardians are just spawning everywhere. Once I seal this all off and I get to my AFK spot. Whew, the drops are going to be amazing. Now I'm going to want to put half slabs on top of these. Just so we don't have regular mobs spawning up here. We don't have to light up down here because that's inside the bounding box of the monument. And that goes all the way up to 61, I think it is. Yeah, 61. From 39 to 61. And so nothing will spawn down there. But this is technically outside of that range because we're at 63. So, hostile mobs, creepers, and skellies, and whatnot can spawn up here. As you can see, all the guardians are getting caught up on that little lip there. So, I'm going to have to raise the water one little bit higher. Probably put some fence gates in there so they can just flow through it. So, this is the finished product. And you can see... And here... That it is quite productive. Let's go up top. I went with this design, which is my own design. You can see how well it works. So, that's this farm. My other farm that I worked on, we would come here to the raid farm. We we come up here with bad omen. There's our villager. It would trigger a raid. Okay, here is a bird's eye view of the raid in progress. As the raiders all spawn in, the way the farm is set up, that the village is actually far enough away from where the vill the pillagers spawn, they spawn the entire um, raid at one exact time. The water then flushes them into this little chute, which drops them all down to where I am, down there, just slicing and dicing and collecting all the emeralds. And it's a great, quick way to get a lot of emeralds and a lot of totems and other loot also. And then the clock runs out and the water recedes back and we are ready to run it again. And then whenever your raid is done, you just hop down this hole. And then your feet go into the range of the village, so a new raid will start. And it, you come back up here and start a new raid and do it all over again. Down here, we have where our emeralds go and our redstone and all the good, the goody goodies come down here. And over here, are all of our totems and pillager heads and all the good stuff. This is unsorted, just overflow, and these are sorted. I need to finish building this thing out, kind of enclose it or something like that, but it has to be all non-spawnable. So, and with that, that is pretty much an update of what I've done on streams the last two months. So now to end this video, we're just going to do a little 
little bit more diamond mining. As you can see, I did a little bit last night for a couple hours, and I got five and a half stacks of diamonds. And I used my good old swamp diamond method. Now I've revised. What? So I've revised it a little bit. In my last video, we did it where we counted out five blocks or whatever. Seven blocks or three blocks. All that is not very uh, good. So what I do is I just go down. You find the big clay patch. And then you go down. Just dig down. I let the water flow down to keep me from... Falling into a ravine and dying, or falling into lava. But you just go down. And when your bubbles start to get low, you just stop, put a block above your head. Ah, <sighs> regain your bubbles. You always face south, because that's where the diamonds will be. Up, oh, see? The water saved me. And there's the diamonds. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to leave the water there because I believe that all around me is lava. And you can see how the water saves you from dying. So there was that one right there. And if I can get up. Now, don't even bother with these little guys. They're nothing. It's the big patches is what you want to find. So, let's go down and do it again. Alright, we're facing south. Sometimes, when you get down there, you won't actually... It won't be right there on the edge. You have to mine, like, one block, maybe two. But generally, they're right there. That whole counting them off in a certain direction, in the positive whatever direction. Nah, you don't have to worry about all that. Just watch your bubbles. And dig down. And there you go. Let me save myself. Wow. Oh. And there you go. And whoop. And swim back up. Mm, do, 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 do. Oh, here's another one right here. And for the naysayers. Who think that... Whoops, see, look at this. This is exactly why. Whoa! That's exactly why you... You do the water down there. Wow. It's dangerous down there. So, I'm gonna grab a little bit of... I'm not even going to worry about those guys. Start facing south again. Go right past them. We may have to worry about them on the way up. But right now we don't have to worry about them. We've got new bubbles. Okay, so we're at the bottom. So we'll close that off. And we're facing south, so let's dig a little bit. And it looks like we... Now, they're not all the way at the bottom. Sometimes, you got... You got to dig up a little bit. There they are. See, they're just one block off. This is a small vein. 
and only two on that one. Well, let's let's dig around, make sure. And that is how I have got woo five and a half stacks in like three hours, maybe. Now, last time I did Swamp Diamonds on the Mousehole server, it was in load in chunks that were loaded when we were in the snapshots. So I'm not sure if that had anything to do with it, because the fact that the uh, terrain generation, you know, was different. It had the high and then the low, the super high. Get our bubbles back and the digging. And there's the diamonds. So I flew all the way out here, like way far out, to unloaded chunks. To see if that would help at all. And it seems to have helped. So 118, this is probably not going to work. Alright guys, thanks for watching. And in the comments below, write down how many diamonds you think we got out of this whole mining session. And I'll drop it right at the end credit scene. So make sure you watch the whole thing. All right, bye bye. Let's go to Pam's crash pad and use her. Really? One and a half stacks of diamond blocks? Plus six.